Hi, um, yesterday, Paul Feig's uh, Ghostbusters trilogy came shitstorming along the internet with um, mixed uh, negative um, reviews amongst the uh, Ghostbusters fans. It's like uh, it's always been the controversy about the film surrounding that uh, the lead has been taken over by uh, female um, Saturday Night Live um, comedians in the form of um, Leslie Jones, uh, Kristen Wiig and um, Kate McKinnon and uh, s starring alongside Melissa McCarthy from Bridesmaids and The Heat uh, and Spy which was all directed by uh, Paul Feig. But the main puzzling thing about the trailer is that as soon, halfway through the trailer, Kate McKinnon's character, Julian Holtzman, was sexually licking a gun as when she was getting ready to battle out of the supernatural forces. But uh, uh, the whole problem about that scene is it's the rating issue, as in films as a generalisation, there's always going to be a rating issue regarding a scene of um, adult nature and that. And earlier on in the trailer, Christian Wiggs' um, character said the uh, loads of um, adult reference jokes and uh, all that lot. Apart from the controversial side of the trailer, yeah, it's a good, decent, um, funny trailer which was had the, quite a few nostalgic um, moments and throwbacks to other films in the past, like the whole Exorcist head spinning scene, which was um, also redone in comic fashion in them um, repossessed in the early 90s with um, Linda Blair and um, Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, uh, which was a strange, bizarre way, but uh, to uh, recall in Ghostbusters 2, um, Dan Aykroyd's character gets possessed by um, Vigo the Carpathian and that, but I don't recall any of that spinning head um, notion and that. It just turned all demonic and etc. And the whole surprising thing about it is they managed to squeeze some um, Slimer in there somewhere. Apparently Slimer is is going to have the backstory in the film. Apparently Slimer was not going to be originally included. The, the whole rumours about having Dan Castellaneta who does um, Homer Simpson in The Simpsons. Sky Bosch all rumours of him being hired to um, to voice the role but that credential had to be taken off the IMDb page for Ghostbusters um, reboot and that. But yet um, it's all in the first um, official trailer. There's going to be a few more trailers for the film to come. Who knows, they might have um, scenes of um, cameos from the originals in there somewhere. But this is only the first trailer but some people regard the first trailer as some kind of a Saturday Night Live sketch and uh, etc but which didn't sit well with many Ghostbusters fans there was lots of um, Ghostbusters um, trailer reactions and that as when the film trailer came online lots of um, big um, YouTube um, channels uh, who does these trailer reactions jumped at the chance of um, watching the footage and uh, then going on about it and that. Um, 
the best one I've ever seen of the all the trailer reactions was from Xander when who's uh, who specialize it is in that area and also the other best one goes to black and nerd and comedy whatever he does he does his bizarre um, over the top um, take on re reactions and that but um, Xander Wayne's impression w w w w was a uh, was um, half and half and uh, etc. There was no real um, tears of joy saying the great we got the, eventually the Ghostbusters film that we've been waiting for all these years but it, 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 it seems to me so far that it wasn't the Ghostbusters film the people got. It sounds like a resonance to the Destiny video game which had all the hype and build up and all the controversy around the story and that the fans were excited about that and all of a sudden when the game came out it turned out to be something completely different and um, that's the problem when you're doing re reboots or remakes or rehashes of um, whatever <laughs> Uh, comparisons to to the originals and that they're always going to have a tendency to deviate away from the source material of the original film and that's it by tweaking it by updating it and that but some issues around the trailer was the the C CGI ghosts and that it seems to me that it looks like the um, discount ghosts from the Haunted Mansion film, which was many years ago, that had um, Eddie Murphy, Jennifer Tilly, uh, um, Marsha Thomason from Las Vegas, and uh, Terence Stamp as the creepy butler and um, Nathaniel Parker in it. It seems to me they took the whole idea of the operations in the Haunted Mansion and in Peter Jackson's The Frighteners which starred uh, Michael J. Fox and J. Busey in it. They took those elements uh, and they slap bang them into the trailer and that. It, which she was nonsensical seeing a giant um, carnival still walking ghost and that. <laughs> It looks rather goofy and um, silly, but it, in between it was um, funny to watch. I've seen it around about four or five times now. I'll be watching it a few more times, more to come. Then I will be going to see the film when it premieres in July. It's going to be in 3D, it's going to be a whole new aspect than it originally is and it's going to be a whole new different aspect in that but <laughs> like it or love it I'm going to still see it anyway and all I can say about the whole Kate McKinnon licking the gun in sexual ecstasy many people will be off put into it by it but me I find it <laughs> silly and that it's like a, 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 an old um, film noir nostalgia piece where the film Fatal uh, kisses the smoking gun and that but um, Kate uh, did a whole spin on that instead of doing that she lit it like a <laughs> Lollipop uh, looked like she was about to star in some fetish adult film licking a sexual toy device and that. And uh, there's also a kind of, of um, resonance to the scene in um, Golden Eye where Famke Johnson plays Xenia on the top, goes around shooting everybody in them um, seven eye uh, with that orgasmic um, <laughs> grimace on, on her face. 
the stout was done for pure laughs and like in this aspect here it was sort of, kind of like a spoof on that when the whole um, Melissa McCarthy's head spinning around in 360 fashion it was more like a callback to the film Repossessed with Leslie Nielsen and um, Lindy Blair I and mean, etc. Like I said, I'll be watching it a few more times more ahead of the film coming out in Jul July, which I'm so excited about. It was like um, last year I attended a convention in London and I was uh, stoked to see Sigourney Weaver there while she was there. They had all the ladies in Zool outfits and that pay homage to Sigourney's character in the film and etc. But yeah, before that I met William Atherton um, who was um, what a peck in Ghostbusters. I praised the scene where it shut down the air to the containment grid and Ghost went havoc in the city again with the whole Mike Smiley um, peace m magic and Sigourney we, rises up from the bed, walks towards the living room window, roars and explodes, go <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I praise the performance to William Atherton about that but I'm shocked that um, Rick Moranis is neglected uh, the the a opportunity to be a part of the reboot that's just um Rick Moranis um and it he's always been that kind of a per person that don't want to ruin the integrity of the first picture by coming into the to this laughable reboot which at the beginning of the trailer it said thirty years ago four guys save the world and it shows a picture of the firehouse in 2016 setting with um, buildings and that that wasn't there in the original film but it felt like coming into the film just to turn up for five minutes or so playing a totally different character he wasn't feeling it at all but um they're gonna have um, Dan Aykroyd playing the taxi driver they're gonna have um, Bill Murray playing somebody else and they're gonna have Sigourney Weaver and Annie Potts and Ernie Hudson playing all total different people not reprising their iconic roles which made them more famous and whatever it's like um, Fright Night from 2011, which had um, Chris Sarandon in it, played totally different um, character, but it, that did not save the film. It, the film died, it was poorly advertised and etc. But I'm hoping to God this, uh, this film will, will, will be plastered everywhere and all sorts of different places. But Mattel um, commissioned the Proton Pack, the full one, but which was totally disappointing. All we got for, to, to, what was that from the original film, and that to which you can which power it up and etc. And to let it rip, and do you have it? Do you, yeah, that's all they got. From from um, Mattel, which they did want it to to commission the the base part to go w with it and that but I didn't, they didn't have the funding to do that but uh, 
See, it was great to see them come up with a, a replica toy one that looks totally realistic. That was in pales in comparison to the kind of one for the real Ghostbusters, which was tacky and plastic and blue and uh, etc. But um, there you have it in a nutshell. Yeah. I laughed so much at the trailer and I've continuously will watch it again and again and again and again because it's so funny, it's, it's a hilarious and that I'll be also getting it when it comes out on Blu-ray after when it's done its theatrical run because I'm a sucker for all things and Ghostbusters related but many people say, how do you support this film? It's trash. You're not a real Ghostbusters fan. You're not this, you're not that. Thing, blah, 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 blah. But me, I don't care about all that. Those some fanboyish cliches. I like the film for what it is uh, and, and all that lot. I don't label m myself it, 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 in these um, things and that. I see the film as it. It is if I like it, I watch it again. But if I don't, I I do watch something else. So before I go, uh, coming up, I I will be reviewing uh, Halo Guardians and following that a weekly uh, Halo Master Chief collection. And at some point later on this month, I'll be doing an eighties comedy double which is going to be weird science and um, adventures and babysitting then following the week uh, later we're going to pay homage to Catherine Mary Stewart with um, Night of the Comet and uh, Apple and coming this fall um, Gawtober which we'll be doing all sorts of horror reviews on Repo uh, the genetic opera and bordello of blood and etc so i got a, a, a busy schedule ahead of me amongst going to see ghostbusters when it comes out in july i'll be going and seeing it and supporting it in this <laughs> i'll be also taking that with me and etc I'll be hunting down it. The the those goggles what kids were wearing and been finding some better gloves to go with it. So I can act like up like Kate McKinnon, which which uh, so far I fell in love with her character because she's so. Typical and f funny and etc. But t this is me, Frankie Smells, for my uh, reaction for the Ghostbusters 2016 trailer. Thank you for watching and look out for the upcoming stuff that I mentioned. Until then, uh, have a great day wherever you are. Peace. <laughs>